And so what that means is, before we go into the next shooting drill, I wanna work on your form, meaning how you shoot, okay? Because you wanna have a, a strategic way of shooting in order to make shots. So you tell me, what are you thinking when you shoot? Are you just throwing it up, trying to make it in, or do you have a technique? Um, I don't have a technique. You don't have a technique, all right, that's what we're here for. So come here to this white line. We're gonna do a shooting drill, back up behind the white line. So we wanna line up perfectly, okay? So we're gonna do a shooting drill where our goal is not only to make the shot, but also to not touch the rim, okay? So we're gonna shoot, and if we switch like that, that's plus one. If we miss, that's minus one, and if we make it, if we make it and we, there we go, touch the rim, it's zero. You don't get minus, but you don't get a plus either. All right, so let's go through what you have to remember in order to shoot. Go ahead, toes on the line. So the first thing we want to work on is lining up to the basket. Are you a righty or a lefty? A uh, righty. A righty. So usually we want to line up with our right, scoot over some, scoot this foot, good. Right foot and our right arm, the shoulder to the basket. You see that? Okay, we don't want to line up here, and now we're shooting, I don't know, to the side of the backboard. We want to line up directly to the middle of the rim. So you would remember this, A, when you shoot foul shots, obviously, because you have the time to think about it, but B, anywhere you are on the court, and you'll see in the next drill, whether you're doing a move, whether you're sliding and running like we did before, you want to get your shoulders and your body and that foot and arm square with the basket. So what I mean is, let's pretend I was doing that drill you were just doing, and let's pretend I slide here, and then I run to the elbow, I'm supposed to get my shot off. Well, I wanna square so that I'm lined up here to take my shot. I don't wanna shoot like this, right? Because I'm not lined up. I don't wanna shoot like this, because I'm not lined up. So I always wanna line up that foot and shoulder while I'm in a position where I can make the shot, okay? So that's number one. So show me right now your feet lined up. Good, I love the wide stance, shoulders lined up, perfect. All right, what do you think I'm gonna teach you next? Let's see how much you know. Four. No, we gotta work our way up. Oh. We, just, we just talked about the feet. So what's next after the feet? Arms. No, the arms are way up, up here. We got a whole bunch between your feet. Let's talk about those knees. Do I shoot my knees locked like this or do I have them bent and ready to help me get to the basket? Bent all day long, okay? So show me your feet lined up with the basket. That's not lined up. This right foot needs to be lined up with the middle. Look up, scoot to your left some. There you go, literally go, this is what I do, this is what NBA players, everyone does. They literally line their foot up with the basket. Line it up. Okay, let me see it. With the middle of the basket. There you go, line it up. Okay, if your foot is lined up, that means your shoulder's lined up. Okay, now show me bent knees. Very good. Now listen, when we bend, do we wanna bend this low when we shoot? No, no we don't. All right, we wanna bend just enough to get us a little oomph to the basket in one motion, okay? So if I catch it and I shoot and I go like this, and then shoot, is that one motion? No. That's like three motions, okay? Now if I go like this, is this one motion? No. It is, but I didn't bend my knees. So I gotta find a happy medium to where when I catch it and my knees are bent, I'm coming right up in one motion, if that makes sense, right? I don't wanna bend too much. I don't wanna bend, come up and bend again. Right, I just want one motion. So we're gonna work on in the next drill, catching it with your knees already bent. But before I give you this ball, show me how much you think your knees need to bend to make a shot from there. Good, perfect. Now, what's after your knees? Look, look at your body. What comes after your knee? Your hips. You got your hips. So should my hips be like this when my knees are bent? No. What about this? No. No, show me. Show me what you think they should look like. Go, we want our shoulders forward a little bit. I always say chest out, right? But your butt out too. Put your chest and your butt out at the same time. Bend over some, loosen up, why are you so stiff? Right, so we wanna, if I want my chest up and my butt out, I'm gonna look like this, right? If I got my butt in but my chest up, I'm gonna look like this. If I got my butt out but my chest down, I'm gonna look like this. So we wanna put both of them out, let me see. Excellent, loosen that back up, loose. There you go, yeah, there you go. Got my butt out a little bit, but what that does is it makes me strong and on balance. Let me show you what I mean. Get in your stance. No, get in your shooting stance. Good, now I'm gonna lean on you. Don't let me push you, okay? You see how strong you are as in a, what are you, 11? How old are you? 11. 11, look how strong you are as an 11 year old. Put your feet together, stand up straight. Don't let me push you. 
right? It's impossible, right, to hold me up. So get back in your correct stance. Good. You got wide feet. Your knees are bent. Your hips, your posture is strong. Now I'm leaning, I'm pushing, and I can't move you. So what this does is it keeps you on balance. When you're going full speed dribbling and going to shoot, if you go into that stance, you're still going to be able to shoot a straight up and down shot. You're not going to shoot over. Okay? So that's where the hips are very important. Now what's the next part? Your arms. Yeah, your favorite part. Okay, so show me your shooting form without a ball. Pretend like shoot, it, shoot a ball right now. All right, so you do know a little something about shooting. Okay, notice how you shot with one hand and the other hand didn't shoot. You didn't shoot with two, right? You didn't bring it way back here. You didn't shoot it from here. Show me one more time. Good, that's a perfect shooting form. Okay, now before I give you the ball, do that one more time. What I would say is bring this a little higher. So it gets above your eyes. So you're not shooting with the ball right in front of your face. A little higher and then follow through here. Okay? So here's the drill we're going to do. You're going to put your left hand behind your back. And I want you to shoot with one hand right at the top of your eyebrow. And we're going to try to make as many shots as possible without... Oh, no. That doesn't count, right? Without hitting the rim. Oh, man. If I'm hitting the rim, that means I got to shoot at what? Higher, harder, there we go. No, no good. Gotta get used to this girl's ball. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's one. That's two. That's three. You see how I'm not hitting the rim? That's four. And that's five, okay? So that's your goal. Yeah, let's see. No, right from there, same spot. I did it from a harder spot. Whoa, whoa! Is your butt out? All right, there you go. Good. That's minus one, but we'll keep you at zero. Nice backspin, all right? So that's one. That's two. Now, after you shoot, we didn't go over this, but I want you to hold it up. By holding it, me and you can look at your body and we can look at you on camera and we can say, okay, what was wrong? Were her feet like this? Did she just go like that and not follow through? We want to take those fingers and put them in the basket. That shows us that you're shooting the right way. What do you think you did wrong there? Did you ever bend your knees? No, you did not. Did you ever put your butt out? Nope, you stood just like this the whole time and shot. We want to do the whole motion. So we want to come here first. When we put it here, we want our knees already bent. And then stand, shoot, and release. All one motion. Try again. I'll delete that from the video. Go ahead and grab it. Come on, give me one good make here. Let's go hop back in. Give me a swish, one good make. Whoa, come on, you can't be bricking and airballing from two inches away. The camera is on. We're trying to make you look good for YouTube. Bang. That's a good one. Think about what we just talked about. Feet, knees, hips. Nice. Good. Now let's get it over. Come on, let's go. Let's get it over that rim. You switched the first two. Bang. Good job. One more. Oh, come on. Give me a swish, though. That was very nice, very straight. Give me a swish. No good. I need a swish. Take your time. We're not rushing. Good. Don't rush. I know it's boring. We got to get the basics first. Look at your feet. Yeah, there we go. Line it up. Hips, shoulders. Good. Swish. Ooh. Nice catch. Come on. Give me one more swish. Come on. Not counting. I need swishes only. Very nice. Good job. 